Norway is one of the richest countries in the world. Flush with oil wealth, it's erected new buildings, including this impressive opera house, and has both high wages and generous benefits. But it seems this Nordic country wants to see less of the poorest people after its parliament voted to ban begging, first locally and then nationally from next year. Norway has cultivated an image internationally of a progressive country keen to help the world's poorest. But with a right-wing party now in government whose leader previously said all Romanians should be bussed home and now the begging ban, is that image at risk? A government commissioned report estimates there are 500 to 1,000 foreign beggars in Norway, most of them Roma. After the previous centre-left government lifted an earlier attempt at prohibition, the current centre-right coalition, and particularly the populist Progress Party in power for the first time, saw a new ban as a chance to distinguish themselves. It is absolutely a left-right issue. And, uh, you know, the cleavages in Norwegian politics are very small. So they are kind of looking after the cases where they can distinguish themselves from each other. And uh, this is such a case where the right parties can say that they are something different than the leftist parties. I think if they had thought very much about the, uh, the image issue, they wouldn't have done it because it's also a very strange band. They don't know how to uh, execute the... Uh, they don't know how to execute it because it might be very difficult to uh, distinguish between beggars and people selling uh, flowers or other things uh, uh, that is actually it is begging but it is kind of uh, hidden begging so it's a kind of strange decision a short distance from aslak bonda i spoke off camera to nelu a beggar from romania i only need a little money people have so much money here he told me critics of the ban say it discriminates against the roma that the statistical link between begging and crime is unclear and that it brings Norway's image into disrepute. Norway drew heavy scrutiny from abroad when last year it became one of the first European countries in recent years to form a government in which a populist right-wing party was a member. International concerns on the Progress Party initially focused on its former member, Anders Bering Breivik, who actually disowned the party for being too soft but they also looked at its comments on immigration and Roma. Now this ban on begging in recent days in Norway will do little to dispel those fears. Richard Milne, Financial Times, Oslo.